Vital Chemical Safety Practices Working with chemicals comes with certain risks. You can minimize the risks at our university by following these safety practices. First, you should know that, besides your supervisor, there is a chemical safety officer in your department. Before any activity with chemicals, you must contact them for a risk assessment and instructions. Chemicals pose potential physical, health and environmental hazards, such as explosion, fire, oxidation, corrosion, poisoning, irritation, cancer, pollution, and more. To use a chemical in your work, you must follow the instructions given on the container label and the corresponding material safety data sheet. The sheet also contains information about the product, its hazards, the corresponding safety measures, and how to dispose of the product. The safety measures are governed by four principles. The first is substitution. Whenever possible, replace the hazardous substance with a safer alternative. The other principles concern technical arrangements, organizational practices and instructions, and personal protective equipment. When working in the laboratory, you must be familiar with the safety symbols and be able to locate and use all emergency facilities. Store chemicals from the same storage class together. Chemicals that can react with each other must be stored separately. Containers must always be labeled with the name, concentration and preparation date of the chemical, the corresponding hazard pictograms and the name of the person responsible. Unlabeled products must not be used and must be reported immediately to the chemical safety officer. Keep records of the stock, check it regularly and dispose of unneeded materials. With gas cylinders, it is crucial that there is no damage or leakage. They pose hazards such as suffocation, flammability, explosion and poisoning. To minimize risks, gas cylinders must have a cap screwed on and be secured against falling over. When chemicals need to be transported, only trained personnel are allowed to do so. For transport inside or between buildings, place the sealed and labeled container in a hand basket or in a box on a hand cart. When transporting cryogenic gases in an elevator, no people are allowed inside the same elevator. For national or international transport, consult the Dangerous Goods Safety Advisor from the Risk Management Department. Hazardous waste should be avoided or kept to a minimum. When purchasing chemicals, be aware of sustainability. Think about the risks they pose, as well as how to safely dispose of them. For disposal, separate liquids from solids and according to their classification. Separate chemicals that could react with one another. Ensure intermediate storage in the original UN-approved disposal containers provided by the university. Label hazardous waste and follow the university's disposal guidelines. Use personal protective equipment as required by your activities with chemicals. Contact your supervisor for instructions about what equipment you need and how to properly wear it. If you notice damaged material or infrastructure, or if there is an incident, report it to your supervisor and chemical safety officer. We want to protect your health and the environment. We are here to make your workplace safer.